Hello everyone, Edwin Anthony here again from Resolutions Design, yet again creating another video tutorial. If you are new to this channel, again my name is Edwin Anthony, I'm the owner and founder of Resolutions Design. We're one of the top Shopify experts agency. Purpose of this channel is so that you don't have to have to invest in a web developer um, I'll be honest with you my prices are pretty much outrageous they're crazy but we get the job done and the reason why I'm making this video is so that you could do it yourself right you don't have to actually hire someone save yourself some money in the meantime what I would ask you for you to do is demolish that like button smash it mortgage it do whatever you want, just make it turn blue because it's the wrong color right now. Look at that like button, it's just the wrong color. Smash it so that it turns blue. And if you like this type of content, please let me know. Let me know and become a subscriber and add that notification bell. So the purpose of me making this video is a problem. I am noticing that my YouTuber fans, right? I hear you and I'm responding to the comments. Uh, they're like, look, I'm having this problem. I'm having this problem where, you know, I'm doing something with Oberlo or I have all of these apps where typically a lot of the merchandise where you guys are doing drop shipping or something like that, you know, it's feeding to your Shopify. But when it comes to the shipping, this is going on, right? Like the users cannot actually buy and we're trying to fix this problem. It's so annoying. So again, this is only for those that have like, Oberlo, they have all of these other apps, and the shopping cart is acting like this, okay? That's what I'm trying to fix in this video. Let's get right to it. All right, here we go. So I'm in the infamous account here, the coffee shop, right? And what we're going to do, first of all, is make sure, guys, that you... you you took a look at my video of the shipping. Uh, I'm going to see if I could leave it up in the notes or I'll put it on the description. Make sure that your shipping settings is on point. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure that you do your shipping on point. So what are you looking for? You're making sure that you have, uh, first of all, your location set up. So right here under locations, make sure that this is set up correctly. I discussed that in the video. And also make sure your taxes are set up as well as your shipping area right? So if you look at your shipping rates, wherever it is that you want to charge shipping, just make sure that this is up to par. If it doesn't look something similar to this, again, click on that video, get yourself updated, then come back here and let's fix this problem. Because if you don't, then you're still going to have problems, okay? So make sure you watch that video. All right. So right now, as you can see, we have a destination location where it's shipping from. Does it matter where it's shipping from? No, not really. Because remember, it's coming from Oberlo AliExpress. You just want to be able to charge for shipping. That's what really matters. Okay. And as you can see here, I have several options. I have, you know, it's free for zero dollars and up, or I have, you know, discounted carrier service. So it really doesn't matter what you have going on as long as it makes sense. We're just really trying to clear this problem out here. Okay. So here's where the issue is. If you scroll all the way down, by the way, Today's date is June 27, 2020. One of the main reasons why we're having this problem now is because Shopify has updated their settings. Okay? And this is one of them. You see this? Not shipping from. And then you're going to see a list of apps that you're not shipping from. Okay? You might just see Oberlo. You might have a lot of them. But in this case, we just see Oberlo because that's the only one I have. It's Oberlo. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to go right here where it says add rates. You're going to click on this. Remember, this has to be done. You cannot jump to this unless this is done over here. I cannot stress that enough. Okay. We're going to go right here to add rates. Okay. And then right here, it's going to ask you create a new rate or use the same as this one here. Okay. So depending on where you guys are at, if you guys are familiar with this screen and you went ahead and you did this, Try to see if you could clear that out. Try to see if you could delete as much as possible so that your settings looks like this. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. Straight up. Okay? So make sure that your settings looks clean. It has your rules of how much you want to charge sip, uh, shipping. And then make sure that it looks like this. Then what you're going to do is add rates. From add rates, you're going to say use the same rate as my coffee shop press done then press save when you do that 
In my case, I only have shipping from my coffee shop, comma, Oberlo. In your case, if you have more than one, you're going to see a whole squad of a whole bunch of them right here. It's okay. All right? It's okay because you just want something universal. Now what I'm going to do is I like to keep my tabs open, like I mentioned before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here where I actually saw the problem, and I'm going to press refresh. And by pressing refresh, there you guys have it. It's working again. Okay? And that's why I'm asking for that. Smash to the like button if you like this type of stuff because I listen to you. I would have never made this video unless you have responded in the comments saying, I'm having problems with this. That's what keeps this channel alive. Ask me questions. Tell me where you get stuck at. Tell me the issues. Even if this video doesn't solve your problem and you find another issue, let me know nicely in the comments. And I'm going to write back to you saying, I got you. And then I'm going to make another video. If you like videos like this, again, I keep it real. I keep it straight to the point. I don't ask for money. Just that smash the like button. And put that notification on. Become a subscriber. And until next time, thank you very much.